it was Fred Eaton, who was the senior partner of Sherman and Sterling, saying, could I be on a plane for Paris that evening? It was a Sunday morning. And I said, well, would you explain? He said, we've just been retained to represent Sonatrack, the oil company, the Algerian oil company, and to help them develop their oil and gas resources. He said, can you be in our plane? I said, well, you know, I don't know anything about oil and gas. And he said, can you be on a plane? And I said, yes, sir, I can be on a plane. And I went over and met Ed Tuck, who was then the head of Sherman and Sterling's Paris office. And we were told that Sherman and Sterling had been retained by Sonatrack, the oil and gas development subsidiary of the Algerian government, which had just been installed after the long Algerian revolution. And so, in some degree of trepidation, kind of like two babes in the woods holding hands, Tuck and I went, flew down to Algiers. We began to try to put together a team of lawyers, and one of the people who was chosen to work with Ed and myself was John Weiser, and we went, all went to Algiers together and kind of timidly began to meet these Algerian revolutionaries. Well, it turned out the revolutionaries, a lot of them have gone to American universities, were oil and gas engineers, nice people, very pleasant to work with. It was a, a real adventure, and we all felt we were engaged in very interesting, dramatic, international intrigue, revolutionaries, and all that stuff. So the three of us tried to figure out how we could communicate by code. And so we invented a code where we said, we'll use the word olives for oil, and we'll use the word uh, grapes for gas. And in that way, nobody will ever discover what we're working on in case we have to. Well, suddenly we had to begin to talk about 8,000 tons of olives, and it became evident that we had a lot to learn about espionage, but we had even more to learn about oil and gas and other hydrocarbon problems. And so we got into the oil and gas business, and Sherman and Sterling, you know, again expanded its horizons. The oil and gas expertise that we gained from the work for Sonatrack uh, was used to establish an office in Abu Dhabi, where I believe Sherman and Sterling still has an office and is representing other oil and gas exporters. And uh, it's another example of how the firm grew with the world economy. That's a wrap. <laughs> Whatever you guys do. <laughs>